Hi, I'm Niall from Gulfstream Boat Sales. We're on the water today with the 2005 Rinker 270 um, Express Cruiser, powered by Volvo Penta D4, 260 horsepower diesel stern drive. We're doing a virtual sea trial video for the buyer of the boat. So this boat is currently not available, but I find people seem to like some of these virtual sea trial videos. So you can see how a boat like this with this engine kind of performs. So um, I'm gonna show you how the boat's running today. We'll take it out of the marina, we'll put it on the plane, we'll run at cruising speed, run at maximum RPM, and just show you how this Rinker 270 performs on the water with the Volvo D4 engine. It's a lovely boat actually, in really, really nice condition for the age. And uh, yeah, let's head out and show you how it's running. So as we're turtling out, it's really windy. It's quite windy. About 27, 25 mile an hour winds here coming out of this direction, out of the south. But anyway, um, as we're turning out, got the GPS on. That's giving us a depth of water, so that's 6.2. There's maybe an offset in this one. This one's saying 3.8, and I think the shallow alarm set to maybe four foot. Um, so there's a slight difference in them, but must just be the offset. Uh, this would be more accurate. I would say that probably is an offset built into it. Um, so that's probably the depth of the water from the water line. That's, this is maybe depth below the keel or something. There's your engine instrument. So we've got it set up here to look at uh, RPM, coolant, temperature, fuel flow, and fuel level. This is your multi warning gauge, so all the lights are out, which is good. There's your trim gauge there. So she's trimmed fully down to show you that's all working. So we just leave her fully trimmed in. No trim, trim tabs are offered at the moment there. So, let's just get to the light here. Steering is nice and light. Throttle shift is good as well, so that's neutral. Forward, nice smooth drive on these Volvos. It's reverse, neutral, forward. We'll give her a wee bit of trim tab here. We'll just took her for a while until we get her up to temperature. So that's us at kind of sixteen hundred RPM. Nine and a half liters of fuel per hour, and that's us doing nine nine miles an hour, so probably like seven knots or something. So that be if you're just cruising up and down the river, that would be the kind of speed you'd be going. So these are now kind of marring up a wee bit. That's saying 28 foot of water there and 32 foot there, so just a, like a three or four foot of difference. This one obviously has like a safety margin built into it. That's us kind of cruising along, seven or eight knots. Very little wash. Temperature's coming up now in the sort of the, your normal operating range there. Tell you what I will do while she's doing this as well, I'll just let the engine out. And have a wee quick juke in there. Knock her in the neutral, have a look in the engine. Okay. So you can see your, your cooling water circulating there. Everything looks good. Okay. All looks good. We'll put her up on plane here now. Temperature's up to 80 degrees, which is where you kind of want it, middle of the gauge. We'll put her up on plane here. So stopping away.
25 miles an hour at 3,800 RPM. It's burning 30 liters of diesel. Going good. RPM, still 30 litres of diesel, 21 miles an hour, just tweaking the trim tabs to get her set up for the crosswind, so you can use the tabs to just make her run level. And everything looks good. Temperatures hold the steady there. cleaning speed as we can get out of her so we'll put the trim tabs fully down we're back to 2300 rpm 23 liters of diesel per hour we're doing 14 miles an hour and we're still on play just about so this is going to be like your minimum cleaning speed 14 miles an hour 2300 rpm okay so we'll slow her down so just coming down off the plane, take those trim tabs fully, we'll fully retract the tabs now. So we'll take those fully off. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna swing around. Don't wanna do it into the wind, just so the cover's up, because it is a strong wind. We'll do it with the wind behind us. We'll spin her around, and we'll do, we'll accelerate back onto the plane with no trim tabs on, just to see the difference in the bow rise and then we'll do a full throttle run. So, no tabs. Here we go. There's a supercharger kicking in. And we're up and away, just as quick actually. On the plane in no time. We'll apply a wee bit of ta trim tab. A wee bit of drive trim. So the drive trimmed up to like one. We're doing 3,600 RPM. 53 litres of fuel per hour, we're doing 34 miles an hour.
135 miles an hour, 3,600 RPM, and burning 53 litres of diesel per hour, which is really good. And she got up on the plane with no trim tabs applied, no, no problem at all. See the way now, we're running back into the wind, she's leaning this way a bit. So to correct that, we just put this tab down slightly. Adjust the steering, and that settles it all back up again. This thing is beeping, this is like a deep alarm set on as well. The alarms they'd set on that thing because it's just beeping all the time, but that's just your depth thing. Engine, this is your engine monitor alarm system, it's been off the whole time, so it's all good. Coolant temperature has been solid at 85 degrees on all RPMs there. And she's running really nice actually. Going really well. Sort of 28, 2900 RPM is going to be your, your comfortable, your normal cruising speed. It's running nice, not working the engine too hard, not burning a whole lot of diesel, and it sits nicely on the plane as well. There you go, that's how the, the Rinker 270 runs with the Volvo Penta D4 260 horsepower stern drive. Uh, great engine, great running boat, loads of loads of torque for getting the thing up on plane quickly. And cruising speed anywhere from 20, well minimum plane and speed was 14 miles an hour, cruising anywhere from 20 to 25 miles an hour, and you're burning around 30 to 32 litres diesel per hour at that sort of speed. And then maximum RPM was 3,600. We were doing 35 miles an hour and burning 53 litres of diesel. So it's still very economical. That's one of the reasons the P4 is so popular. It's very economical engine. If you were in an equivalent petrol engine, that horsepower, at that kind of speed, you'd be burning maybe 80 litres of fuel an hour. Uh, so a lot more. And nice running boat. Gets up on plane. You can chuck it around like a big sports boat. Big sports cutty type thing. You know, it handles really well. And uh, cruises comfortably at sort of low 20s. So there you go, this video has primarily been shot for the buyer of the boat, um, but I thought I would publish it to your YouTube channel as well, just in case you're looking at a boat like this and you want a bit more information about how they, how they normally run. Hopefully you find the video useful, thank you very much for watching.